Okay, we're back at one of my favorite flying spots. I wanted to do a few more demonstration flights of my JXD388. Um, it's less wind today, and so I can probably keep it in closer and uh, give a better demonstration of its flying ability. Um, I've bonded a quadcopter already to my transmitter, so all I got to do now is just uh, hand toss it. Okay, let's bring it in close. Now note that I'm using the uh, WL Toys transmitter today to fly this. So what I wanted to do was just demonstrate some simple turns using the WL Toys transmitter. And also note that I'm trying to use a camera to show the movements of my fingers or my thumbs on the uh, transmitter for these turns. It's something new I'm hoping it's working at. Okay. I'm doing left bank turns here, or climbing left bank turn. Now climbing or descending right hand turn. Notice I'm using both rudder and aileron to get the bank. Also you got to keep a little bit forward pitch. If you don't do that in a banking turn it's just going to stop. Okay, now let's do a climbing turn. And now a descent. Reducing power. Applying forward pitch to bring it down. Now simple ovals. Well, there is a little bit of wind here. <laughs> figure eights. I like to bring the figure eights and do a long figure eight. Uh, the reason I like to do that is you get a lot of uh, nose in from time on the quad and that helps in practicing uh, nose in hovering which is kind of difficult to, for most beginners and even uh, more advanced flyers. I promise to keep this close and I'm not doing it. Let's <laughs> see here. Let's bring that in again. Okay, let's do some more ovals. I'm at 40% uh, rate mode, if anybody's wondering right now. And one thing I haven't really demonstrated yet, I don't know if I can do it with this WL Toys, is uh, flips. Let's try it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, actually you do, it does it easier than with the uh, stock transmitter that comes with this, the WL Toys, or actually the stock transmitter you have to hold the button down and WL Toys just press it. <laughs> How about a forward one? So it flips. Simple banking turn. Beginners, when you're trying turning, uh, you really want a big open field to do that. Don't try turning in your backyard or it's going to end up in your neighbor's yard or on his roof. Uh, get yourself a nice open field. I got the luxury of a dry lake bed, but I know most of you don't. So go to your local sports field, you know, football field or soccer field, and practice there. So a little JXD388. I'm going to do some more demonstration flights with another battery here, but at higher rate mode than this. This is just 40%, like I said. It's a nice little flyer at 40%, 20%. One more climbing turn. And if, I'm going to do a distant flight out and straight in. And 
JXT388. Great little quadcopter. Okay, my battery is starting to get weak. I'll do one more flight with another battery. Okay, this is the second flight with my JXD388. Um, the wind's starting to pick up a little bit, so I'm going to 60% rate mode on this flying. Uh, it's already been bound. Make sure you always bind your quadcopter before you do, you do a toss flight or a toss launch. But here goes the toss launch. Notice how it, the, or the turn is much tighter at 60% than at 40%. Great little quadcopter. Now this is just a rudder turn. See how it slides a little bit in the rudder turns? It's even worse with a three-axis quadcopter. But the, to sharpen up the turns, you want to apply a, a little bit of aileron. And it gives you the banking turn. Rudder and aileron. While maintaining some forward pitch on the quadcopter. These are very sharp banking turns. And the reason I'm doing that is I'm trying to keep the quad in close, and to do that, I need to do sharp turns. Notice I'm playing full. Rudder and aileron. Like I mentioned before, the JXD388, again, in my opinion, is about one of the best quadcopters for a beginner to learn on. Uh, the other one being the uh, WL Toys V212, which also is an excellent quadcopter. It's much bigger than this, though. And the reason I like the 388 for beginners is you can fly this indoors and outdoors equally well. And the price is right in case it does end up on the neighbor's uh, roof. Just demonstrating banking turns and lots of them just so you all get the idea how to do it and these are sharp banking turns now one thing I haven't mentioned you can tighten up the turn even more by pulling back on the pitch I'll try that again. Make a real sharp, fast turn, pull back on the pitch. Wow, applying rudder and aileron. Oh, my battery's dying already? Uh, okay, I guess that's the end of that flight. So, I hope you all learned something here today. And uh, this is Quadcopter 101, signing off.